Hi, I'm James from the marketing team here at Visu, and normally I'd be telling you all about a car we have in our workshop for one of our remaps or custom performance upgrades. But to show you just how simple it is to get started using AutoTuner to tune OBD as a Visu dealer, I've just been shown how to use this tool, and in just under half an hour, I'd remap my first car. Now, I'm gonna give you a 10 minute lesson in how to use the AutoTuner tool, and when we're done, you'll be ready to get tuning using this powerful tool too. So, before we start the job, let's not rush in and suddenly plug the tuning tool into the car. There's a few pieces of equipment that we need to make sure that we've got in our kit for today to get the job done properly. Remember, we want to be safe and cautious as we work on any vehicle for any kind of work to make sure that we're not exposing ourselves to any risk. So it's important that one of the do's is that we do have the right equipment to do the job. So first and foremost, for any tuning, we're gonna need a laptop. There are minimum spec requirements, but basically a middle range laptop, about a two gigahertz processor, decent bit of memory on there, the better the laptop you've got, the quicker it's going to communicate. But generally, a, a middle of the range laptop is absolutely fine. It does need to be Windows based though, just bear that in mind. Next, quite importantly, we're going to need a battery stabiliser. So we're using the CTEC Pro 25S, which gives us about 12 volts and 25 amps of continuous stable power supply to the battery. We're not trying to charge the battery. It's not a battery conditioner on there. When we're communicating with the car, we want to keep a nice, consistent voltage and ampage level through the battery. We don't want any of those crazy spikes causing any instability in the communication. Now, for one of the most important parts of the kit that's often overlooked by a number of people, diagnostic tool. It's really important that before you do any tuning on a vehicle, you give the ECU, transmission, the whole car really, a good health check. Scan it with a diagnostic tool to make sure there's no underlying sort of hidden faults or errors in there. You need to make sure that ECU is shiny on the inside and fault free. Next, extension lead. Whilst it sounds like common sense, when you're doing a remap, depending on where we're working on the car, you need to make sure that your laptop has the charger plugged in. The last thing you want is your laptop running out of power whilst you're part way through reading or writing to the ECU. Your diagnostic tool might need a power supply. And of course, your battery stabilizer is gonna need a power supply. These sort of form the core part of your tuning kit. And last but not least, auto tuner. We need our OBD tuning tool. So let's take a look at what's inside the auto tuner box. First, we have the AutoTuner tool itself. And importantly for this video, we have the OBD2 cable as well. You'll also find this USB key, which has the AutoTuner software on it. We have the USB cable that will connect the tool to the computer. We have the power adapter, should you need it, with a variety of different adapters for whichever part of the world you live in. Everything else in the box will be used for bench and boot tuning, and those parts include a probe and probe positioner kit, a universal cable for EDC16 and MED9, a universal cable with micro pin wires, a BGA MCU hook, a universal box, and a set of banana cables. So we're gonna move all of these around, we're gonna take you to the car, we're gonna get these connected to the car, and once we've checked the car for any fault codes, we've got our stabilizer connected and ready to work. So we've mentioned the importance of the battery stabiliser. We're going to connect to the positive on the battery and we're not going to connect to the negative. We're going to connect to the earth on the vehicle just so we've got a nice stable power supply. Notice our CTEC is not currently on. One of those sort of on the do list is we connect the charge point first, then plug in the CTEC. The last thing we want to do is plug in the charger or power supply. You might not be using something like the CTEC, you might be using a different model, different settings and characteristics. The last thing you want to do is have live power coming through the crocodile clips whilst you're trying to connect. We plug it into the power supply, we see it lights up nicely, and in this case with the CTEC, it's really important that we see the 
supply lights lit up in orange there. So we know it's in supply mode as opposed to recondition or charge. The supply in this case with the CTEC is a constant power supply, balancing out any peaks and troughs in the voltage and amperage. And we see there's no codes present at all. We know internally from a software point of view, this car is in a good state of health. No one's aligned fault codes in there. It's great, we can crack on now with the reading and writing process. We need to connect the auto-tuner tool to the laptop to open the application. Once loaded, it will give you the following options. ECU operations and master operations, which contain decoding and encryption. Today, we'll be using ECU operations option. We'll be selecting the car icon option. As we know, the ECU is from a Ford. So we'll choose Ford. And we know the ECU is from a Fiesta Mark 7. So we'll select Mark 7. Here you can search the Bosch number on the ECU or you can give us a call if you're not sure and we can help you identify it. Sometimes it's labelled on the ECU itself. So based on the engine that's in this vehicle and the information we have about it already, we're going to choose this ECU as a good starting point. On this screen we can see we've got options for bench, boot and OBD. Now we're going to be selecting OBD. Once in this menu, press identify to ensure you have selected the correct ECU. As you can see, the software has recognized this ECU as the MED 17.0.1 from a Ford Fiesta. So now what we can do is continue to read. Now press the read ECU button and you'll be presented with two options, normal read and virtual read. So the difference between virtual reading and regular reading is very, very simple. A virtual read simply downloads a clean version of the file from the Autotuner servers, whereas regular reading takes a physical copy of that file from the car's ECU. If normal read is greyed out, it means that particular model is virtual read only. And virtual read itself is only available via OBD. Now, we need to decide where to save the files which Autotuner has generated. Choose a logical place for you and follow some standard naming conventions such as car registration and customer name. In this example, for ease, we'll save it to the desktop. After selecting the destination for the save file, it will now take the read of the ECU. Before we get started reading from the ECU or writing to it, make sure that the ignition is turned on and ensure you pay attention to any on-screen instructions that are given to you. The nice chime at the end indicates all processes have been completed. You can now send this file to Visu using the dealer portal. Your file will be returned to you within the hour after it's been tuned by one of our technical team. Now that we've received our file back from being tuned, we can now write it to the ECU. If you've disconnected from the car, in the meantime, we'll need to reconnect using the instruction previously completed. From here, we now choose the right ECU option. You can choose either the tune file or the backup file. We'll be selecting the tune file that was sent back to us. On selecting this file, you'll receive a warning that says to check if you're writing the correct file to the ECU. If you were to write an incorrect file to the ECU, it could damage that ECU. So now's the time to double check to make sure everything is correct. Now press yes, and now begins the upload process to the ECU. That final chime indicates the file's been written to the ECU. You can now unplug from the vehicle, ready for testing. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you found it very informative. Check out our website for more information and training if you need them.